Big development coming in from the courts. As the Supreme Court is all set to hear the Masjid Committee's petition with regards to the survey of the Gyanwapi Mosque, the Hindu Sena has now moved an intervention plea in this case before the Supreme Court. Essentially, what they've contended is that the Places of Worship Act cannot apply to an ancient temple that's already covered under the Ancient Monuments Act. Now, this intervention plea has been filed by Hindu Sena Chief Vishnu Gupta opposing the Masjid Committee's petition in the Supreme Court. Very, very interesting development this. Anisha Mathur is joining us with more details on this. Uh, Anisha, good morning. Break this down for us in layman terms. What really is the Hindu Sena's intervention plea all about? Well, uh, see, Akshita, the, uh, the Supreme Court bench of Justices D.Y. Chandrachur and P.S. Narasimha is set to hear the Masjid Committee petition today. Uh, and now this intervention application has been filed. What is interesting about this application is also that it is very, very short. It simply in two paragraphs says that this attempt, this mosque uh, should uh, this uh, dispute should, is not is not it does not exist because the uh, Gyanwapi Masjid should not exist. It says that the Kashi Vishwanath Temple is a protected monument under the Ancient Monuments Act of 1958, and therefore the Masjid Committee's argument that the 1991 Places of Worship Act, which bars the change in religious uh, character of any <coughs> beg your pardon, which bars the change in religious uh, structure of any monument or building or structure as it existed at the time of independence will not apply to this particular mosque, which basically means that the Hindu Sena is saying, let us change the structure of the mosque, let us uh, do what we want and uh, restore the temple where it was. Now, whether the court accepts this argument remains to be seen. The issue will now be what exactly is uh, the part, which part of the structure is actually protected under the Ancient Monuments Act and can it really be said that simply because part of one structure is protected under the Monuments Act, then nothing, uh, not the rest of the structure which is currently under dispute will not be barred by the uh, Place of the Worship Act because remember both of these acts effectively say that you once something is there you cannot change it. So at what point do you cut a, do you choose that cut off date? Do you cut uh, cut off that date at the time of independence, which means that the Gyanwapi Mosque and the Kashi Vishwanath Temple have to remain the way they are at the moment, which which will effectively uh, uh, give what the Muslim side wants. The Hindu side wants that no. Okay. Restore the temple. Let us go back to where, how it was in the time of Aurangzeb because this is a temple that has been built and rebuilt multiple times in the medieval period when the, right. the Muslim invaders invaded. So a lot of things will have to be considered today by the Supreme Court. It's going to be That's very, it. very interesting clearly what's going to happen in the Supreme Court in a few hours from now. Anisha, thank you for joining us with those details. The Hindu Sena essentially contending uh, that in this particular case, the Places of Worship Act of 1991, which essentially says the religious character of, um, of any religious site must be maintained as it was in 1947, doesn't hold good.